WWL-TV, the spirit of Louisiana. This is Louisiana's News Leader, Channel 4's Eyewitness Morning News. A fairly good size of the Mississippi Riverfront will have a brand new look in a couple of years. In the fall, construction crews will break ground on the project called Reinventing the Crescent with about 1.4 mile stretch of public open space, including bike paths, playgrounds, and two multi-use pavilions. Here with more on the plans, architect Alan Eskew and developer Sean Cummings. Uh, first of all, this, this, this did raise some controversy in the beginning, and we were talking off camera. There, there were uh, reports of people who were upset because they thought condos and all kinds of other developments were going in. This is not that kind of a project. No, change is always something that attracts a controversy, particularly in the aftermath of the catastrophe we went through. But this project is a winner for everybody, and there seems to be consensus. It doesn't involve any of those controversial issues. And for those who don't understand exactly, what will we see on this part of the riverfront? Well, the, 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 the plan is, is uh, primarily a, a mile and a half of a linear park. Um, it's public open space, bike paths, pedestrian. Uh, pass connections back to the two neighborhoods, Marini and Bywater. Um, open space, green space, and there are two pavilions. There's a pavilion which is the, the uh, reuse of the Mandeville Wharf um, that uh, provides a huge open space, covered open space, and then another... So will, 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 will the Mandeville Wharf be rebuilt, or, or how will that how will It'll that actually be um, uh, repaired um, and with minor modifications to it. It'll be put back in place as a uh, as an open-sided uh, covered pavilion. So in all reality, this, will, as you said, it'll be a public space. It'll open up the river <coughs> like, like in many, many other cities that have rivers running through it have done and we've kind of neglected for decades or centuries. Yeah, the central thrust of this is that New Orleans is in the quality of life business. Maybe it's why you choose to live here or I choose to live here. It's also why people choose to visit here and it's why all sorts of people in media and in technology, these entrepreneurs and artisans are moving to New Orleans. And so this is the government stepping up, making a, an investment in a better quality of life in New Orleans, intended to be a magnet uh, for all who want to come here. So is all this property uh, along the river, is it state-owned, city-owned, or? City-owned. And, and w when it opens up, do you think it'll do the same thing for the riverfront that, say, Woldenburg Park or the aquarium did? Yeah, I think even more than that. I mean, I think we're, we're trying to do something that's not only breathtakingly beautiful, Eric, and designed by the best in the world, but by, by, by starting here, but concluding up near Jackson Avenue over a period of years, we think this will have an enormous impact on power for New Orleans, relatively speaking, with, say, Millennium Park in Chicago or some of the other great waterfronts in the world. And, and d d does this become a catalyst for, for development in the area? I mean, will it, will it change these neighborhoods somewhat? And, and not, not for, the, for, the, for the worse, but for the better. Well, I think it's, it's going to be a wonderful investment in terms of quality of life in, in two uh, very vibrant and interesting communities, Bywater and Marigny. And because it runs through several neighborhoods. I mean, does, it, it yeah. touches on the edge of the quarter. Absolutely. It's, it begins at the foot of Esplanade, this particular phase one, and then goes down river. And so the quarter, Marigny, Bywater, all of those residential neighborhoods get touched by the project. So residents can use this on a daily basis and also <coughs> visitors to our community, uh, tourist and, and local and regional visitors can also use the park. And now will there be parking available there or how will that work? We do have um, ample neighborhood scale parking and we also have plenty of space for special events as well. All right, and wh when do you foresee this actually uh, coming to fruition? We're gonna start this fall. You know, initially with some streets works and some curb cuts and some basic landscaping. And then sometime in December, we're scheduled for full-blown construction. That'll take about 18 months. So you're looking at two years from today, essentially, uh, of an opening of another mile and a half of the riverfront in New Orleans. And we're, we're out of time, but I mean, you see it in Chicago and other cities where they really have opened up their lakefront and their riverfront, and it really has made quality <coughs> of life so much better. Yeah. And that's the whole idea of this. It's Huge. the quality of life, yeah. All right. Thank you, gentlemen, very much.